Hello viewers, welcome to my channel PMC. In this video, we are going to learn the topic measurement and types of measurement in class 1. Introduction to measurement. Measurement for class 1 lays the foundation for science and mathematics. Measurement is the act of measuring the size, capacity and quantity of something. We can measure how long, tall or far two things are. Measurement is one of the most practical topics in the mathematics curriculum. Let us see some practical examples of measurement in our day-to-day -day life. Measuring the weight of fruits and vegetables in a shop using a weighing machine. Measuring the height of a child to keep his or her growth record. Next, let us see what are the different types of measurement that we are going to learn. Length, weight, thickness and capacity. The first type of measurement that we are going to see is length. In this segment, we will be seeing what are the different measurement terms that are related to measuring length of an object. Length is a measuring term that tells us how short or long an object is. Let us understand this with an example now. Here we have two pencils. Let us name them as pencil A and pencil B. Which is long here? Pencil A is long and pencil B is short. The words longer and shorter can be used to compare two objects. Let us take the example of the same pencils. We have pencil A and pencil B. Which pencil is longer? Yes, pencil A is longer than pencil B. Then what is pencil B? Pencil B is shorter than pencil A. The words longest and shortest are used for comparing three or more objects. Let us take the example of three pencils now and let us name them A, B and C. Which is the longest pencil here? Pencil A is the longest and pencil C is the shortest. We can bring in the terms longer and shorter also here. Let us see how that can be done. Pencil B is longer than pencil C and shorter than pencil A. Hope you have understood the term long and short. Now let us learn the next terms in measurement with respect to the topic length. Length is a measuring term that tells us how tall or short an object is. Let us understand this with the example of two trees. Let us name them tree A and tree B. Which tree is tall here? Tree A is tall and tree B is short. The words taller and shorter can be used to compare two objects. Let us take the example of the same two trees. Name them A and B. Which tree is taller? Tree A is taller than tree B. And tree B is shorter than tree A. The words tallest and shortest are used for comparing three or more objects. Let us take three trees now and name them as A, B and C. Which is the tallest tree here? Yes, tree A is the tallest and tree C is the shortest. We can bring in the terms taller and shorter also here. Tree B is taller than tree C and shorter than tree A. 
What are all the terms we learnt under length? Long, short, tall and short. The next measurement term that we are going to deal with is weight. Heavy and light are comparative words used for measuring weight. Let us take these two animals. What are they? We have a brown bear and an owl. Which is heavy? The bear is heavy and the owl is lightweight. The words heavier and lighter can be used to compare two objects. A bear is heavier than an owl. An owl is lighter than a bear. The words heaviest and lightest are used for comparing three or more objects. Now we have a bear, an owl and an ant. Which is the heaviest of these three animals? Bear is the heaviest and ant is the lightest. An owl is heavier than an ant and lighter than a bear. So what are the terms we learnt in weight? Heavy and light. The next measurement term that you are going to see is thickness. We call objects thick and thin based on their width. Here we have two candles. Let us name them candle A and candle B. Which candle is thick? Candle A is thick because its width is more. Candle B is thin because its width is less. The words thicker and thinner can be used to compare two objects. Let us take the example of the same two candles. Name them A and B. Which is thicker? Candle A is thicker than candle B because it has a bigger width. Candle B is thinner than candle A. The words thickest and thinnest are used for comparing three or more objects. Let us take three candles now and name them A, B and C. Which is the thickest candle of the three? Candle A is the thickest because it has a very wide width. And candle C is the thinnest. We can bring in the terms thicker and thinner over here. Candle B is thicker than candle C. And thinner than candle A. So what are the terms we learnt here? Thick and thin. The next measurement term that we are going to deal with is capacity. Capacity is how much a container can hold. Terms used for referring to the capacity of a container are more and less. Let us take the example of these two milk containers. Name them A and B. Which container is having more milk? And which container is having less milk? Container A has less milk than the container B. And container B has more milk than container A. Some more terms used for referring to the capacity of a container are empty, half full and full. Let us take three containers and let us see the comparison terms now. Name them as A, B and C. Container A is empty. Empty means it does not have anything. Container B is half full. And container C is full with milk. So what are the terms we saw here? Less and more, empty, half full and full. 
With that, we complete the topic measurements for class 1. Some of the learning outcomes in class 1 under the topic measurements are introduction to measurement and types of measurement. And next is the measurement worksheet. Of this, I have completed the topic introduction to measurement and types of measurement in this video. In my next video, I'll be doing a measurement worksheet. Once children are thorough with the types of measurement, it will be very easy for them to do the activities that I'll be giving in the measurement worksheet video. As always, I will be dealing with each of the topics in separate videos and links to all the videos will be given below in the description box with proper naming convention for your quick and easy access. Thank you for watching my video. If you like the quality of my video, give a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Do not forget to click on the subscribe button and click on the bell button for regular notifications of all the new videos that I am going to make in my channel. See you again.